I found the 2K20 Playmaking Glass Cleaner in NBA 2K25. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to make this iconic build. It's a super dominant build that's gonna be very strong in all four categories. It's also gonna be able to guard one through five, shoot consistently, get contact dunks, and some of the best speed boosting dribble moves in the game. We're gonna continue dropping daily uploads all through September, so drop a like, drop a sub, turn the notifications on. I promise you don't wanna miss one of these uploads. Without further ado, let's get right into this build. All right, getting into a few clips of this build, it's a very long wingspan, six foot seven. These type of builds have always been super fun to ISO on, and we're also gonna be able to play defense on this build. The jump shot's super consistent. This is just some clips against some AIs to show you guys the potential. We're getting that fast Zion Williamson speed boost. I've talked about that Zion dribble style quite a bit on all my taller guards, I'm using it. That cross launch is insanely fast, and there's just not a better move. You see there, we're getting blocks. This build is not a slouch on defense, but we're also gonna be able to do stuff like this on offense, snatch back, green in his mouth. Playing on this honestly brought me right back to 2K20. The nostalgia on this build is crazy. Being able to guard one through five, ISO, get contacts, shoot super consistent. I don't know, I'm having a ton of fun on this build. There will definitely be more gameplay on this one in the future. But I'm gonna be showing you comparisons to the actual 2K20 build I made this from. So you can see exactly how identical this build is to how it was back then. Not wasting any more time, let's get into how to make this build. Into the builder, if you played 2K20 at all, you already know we're going power forward, six foot seven, 235 pounds with a seven foot three wingspan. For those of you that might not have known, in 2K20, this was a build that you could play at power forward, guard one through five, super solid defense and playmaking, enough shooting to shoot consistently if you knew what you were doing, and also get that mid 80s driving dunk. And in this game, it's gonna be able to get us contact dunks. Back then, it was just basic dunks. Either way, that's it for the physicals. Let's get into the finishing. All right, so in the finishing here, we're gonna go with a 64 close shot, 71 driving layup, 84 driving dunk, and then a 51 post control. So the reason I went with 84 driving dunk is I'm about to hit my cap breakers at starter three here in a few days. And getting those five cap breakers, we will put my driving dunk at an 89. And if you didn't know, that will unlock contact dunks, two different sets of them actually, and a ton of really good dunk animations. So that is why I personally stopped the 84 because I want to be able to get those contact dunks after cap breakers and there's nothing else on this build that I'm going to want a cap breaker right away. And even with the 84, you're going to be able to dunk super consistently. This You're going to be able to get the LeBron James dunk package, the Anthony Edwards dunk package. Trust me when I say you're going to be throwing it down a lot. And with the attributes we have up here in the finishing, we're also going to get badges like bronze physical finisher because our strength is also very high and gold aerial wizards who are throwing down lobs. And then we're also gonna get bronze post riser to start out with, which will move up to silver when we get that to an 89. The height and wingspan on this build is gonna make it a contact dunk machine when we hit those cap breakers. All right, and for the shooting here, we're gonna go with a 69 mid-range shot and a 79 three-point shot. It might not look like much, and I know a lot of people are struggling to shoot this year, but once I got my badges up and got my jump shot timing down on my builds, I've been shooting super consistently the last couple of days. And I have a 79 three-pointer on three of my builds already, and I got it down. If this shooting is a little low for you, or if there's a jump shot requirement that you want to hit to be able to get jump shot animations that you need, feel free to tweak this however you want. But this is what I went with because I wanted to make it as close to this playmaking glass cleaner from 2K20 as I possibly could. And once you get used to it, this year the shooting's probably easier than it ever was in 2K20, honestly. The only thing I could see you guys having a concern about is maybe not hitting a jump shot animation you want, but like I said, tweak it how you need to because we're still getting silver set shot specialist, bronze shifty shooter, and bronze dead eye on this build. So I'm gonna be shooting super consistently. And with how strong this build is, playmaking and defensively, we're gonna be getting a lot of stops. So if you miss a shot here and there, it's not a huge deal. And then for playmaking, it's right in the name, playmaking glass cleaners. So we wanted to make sure these stats were pretty high. 82 pass accuracy is the highest pass accuracy I have on any build this year, except for my center. And this 82 is gonna unlock us bronze versatile visionary, silver break starter, and gold diamond. You're gonna be throwing dots on this build. I have a 71 on all the rest of my guards and it's very fast already. I can't imagine an 82 on a guard. But we also went with that 86 ball handle and 75 speed with ball, which is gonna go ahead and get a silver ankle assassin, silver handles for days, hall of fame strong handle, which is a really underrated badge this year, as well as silver unpluckable. Not to mention the speed with ball is also gonna get a silver lightning launch, which I'm gonna use my max plus one on to get to gold, and we are gonna be speed boosting insanely fast on this six foot seven build. And the thing with these dribblers that have higher strength, this Hall of Fame strong handle badge is gonna be so solid because you don't need to speed boost by people, you can kind of push through them. It's a different mindset to play with, but it's a lot of fun. Kind of more of a bully ball approach, and I really like it this year. And at this 86 threshold, you're gonna get a ton of different dribble moves. And the 75 speed with ball is what I've been trying to hit on all of my taller guards to get the Zion Williamson dribble style to get that really fast cross launch. 
but honestly don't worry about dribble animation requirements with this 86 is going to get you pretty much anything you need on a taller guard all right and on to the defense here one of the most important parts of this build 74 interior 85 perimeter 85 steel 78 block and then we went up to a 92 defensive rebound on this six foot seven I have another build, same height and wingspan, and that 92 rebound has me rebounding over seven threes consistently. It's gonna get us gold rebound chaser, gold box out beast, and gold pogo stick, which that rebound chaser, I might use my max plus one on also to get that up to hall of fame. I don't know, I can't imagine running guard and being able to snag over centers. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm really enjoying this build. The 78 block is gonna get us silver high flying denier, bronze paint patroller. We're gonna be sending back a lot of shots in the paint, and then that 85 steel, is that threshold we need for silver glove and gold interceptor. Gold interceptor is insane this year. I, I've said it in all my videos, I'm sure you already know, but you really don't need a higher steal than an 85, especially on a build like this where you're so balanced. And then for the 85 perimeter defense, silver challenger, silver on ball menace, silver pick dodger, gold immovable enforcer, cause you guys will see in a second, our strength is so high. We're gonna be pushing people around on this build. About to be insanely bumpy. And then 74 interior, this is another attribute I have, same rating on my other six foot seven, and I guard centers pretty consistently. People are gonna have a really hard time scoring on you in the post. And all around, you're just a very good four-way player on this build, you can really do everything. If you're looking for one build to make for the entire year, this is a really solid option because it can do everything and can play any position. I don't know, take that how you will, but you guys saw how overpowered the defense is here, let's get onto the physicals. All right, and for the physicals, we went with an 83 speed, 83 agility, 85 strength, and a 78 vertical. That 83 speed, just for off-ball movements, you're gonna be running around the court plenty. I have an 81 on my actual point guard and I'm running super fast. 83 agility, strictly so that we'll be able to move fast on defense, slide our feet quickly, keep up with the defender. Again, 83 is really solid. I have 85 on my lockdown and I'm keeping up with every guard I play against. So that 83 rating is definitely gonna get the job done. And then 85 strength, I'm gonna be using this build as guard. And I haven't seen a single guard this year with strength so high. We're going to be throwing people off of us, blowing by, all while still being able to push centers around and grab rebounds over them. And then finally, vertical, another super underrated attribute this year. It's going to help you with everything, rebounding, dunking, jumping, stealing, anything else you can possibly think of. And that 78 rating, when we get to our cap breakers to 89 driving dunk, is also going to help us get the contact dunks. So we want to make sure that we're keeping that at the 78, not going any lower. Not too much else to say about the physicals but as you can see, it's a super well-rounded build. And then unfortunately, I honestly don't think Playmaking Glass Cleaner name is even in the game this year, but this build fits the description perfectly. I made it almost identical to that 2K21, so we're just gonna have to deal with the name. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you in the next one.